This is the manual muscle test for trunk rotation. For trunk rotation to the left, the muscles being tested include the right external oblique and the left internal oblique. For trunk rotation to the right, muscles being tested are the left external oblique and the right internal oblique. For testing grade 5, the patient is positioned in supine with the legs straight and their hands over their head. The clinician observes for clearance of the scapula on the elevating side. If the patient is able to clear the scapula, they're scored as a grade 5. The test is repeated for rotation to both sides. With the chin to ceiling, take the right elbow to the left knee. Relax. To test for grade 4, the hands are moved from behind the head to across the chest. If the patient is able to clear the scapula on the elevating side, they're scored as a grade 4. With your chin toward the ceiling, take the right elbow to the left knee. Relax. Okay. To test for grades 3 and 2, the patient is positioned in supine with the legs straight and their hands hovering over their thighs. If the patient is able to clear the scapula on the elevating side, they're scored as a grade 3. If they're unable to clear the scapula, but there is ribcage depression observed, they're scored as a grade 2. Keep your chin pointed towards the ceiling. Lift the shoulder to your left knee. Relax. Okay. test for grades 1 and 0, the patient is positioned in supine with the knees bent and the hands by the side. The clinician supports the head and palpates the oblique muscles. If there is palpable muscle activity during attempts to rotate, the patient is scored as a grade 1. If there is no discernible muscle contraction, they are scored as a grade 0. Lift your head towards your left leg.